Hey friends, Lindsay back with another So Fancy video tutorial. Uh, today we're showing you how to create some really awesome multicolor layered vinyl decals um, using registration marks and your brother scan and cut. And um, this is, you know, not a super complicated way. It's really easy to set up and a great way to introduce you to, um, you know, some multicolor vinyl designs. You can create some really awesome stuff like this vinyl decal <laughs> multicolored that I put on this decorative camping bucket. So you're going to need um, different colors of permanent adhesive vinyl like Oracle 651, your brother scan and cut, um, some transfer tape, a burnishing tool, and then of course an SVG design that is suitable for multiple colors um, or vinyl layering. Um, the design that I used comes from the July 2021 SVG and font bundle at So Fancy, and I have links in the video description to um, all the supplies that I'm using, so um, if you want to check them out, they'll find them there. So let's go ahead and get started um, with our registration marks to make our layered vinyl decal. First, open Brother Canvas Workspace, either the online version or the version I'm using here, which is the one that you download for free onto your computer. Click the SVG icon in the left menu to open the SVG file you're using for your project. The, the design I'm using comes from So Fancy's July SVG and font bundle. There's a link in the description to check it out. Now Canvas Workspace opens this design with um, all the fill colors as black, um, but since I'm going to be using multiple vinyl colors for this uh, decal, um, I'm going to change the colors to match the colors of vinyl that I'm using. So I click and drag across the design to select everything. Then what I'm first going to do is just set all the fill colors to no fill color and then give everything a black line color so I can see it. Now you just click on one piece of the design and change the fill color to match the color of vinyl you're using. And this is really going to help you um, stay organized when you go to cut out each of the different pieces. I'm cutting the project in different shades of blue Oracle 651 permanent adhesive vinyl. There's also a link in the video description to swing design so you can grab some vinyl. Then once it's all colored in, you're going to add the registration marks. So in the shapes panel, click on the square to add it to your workspace and then resize it to much, much smaller, like um, an inch is probably good. Um, and then you want to um, make a co copy of it. And I'm going to be showing you lots of different ways that you can make copies in Canvas Workspace. So just use your favorite. I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and then just click and drag um, a copy off and um, position those two squares now um, somewhere near the design like at the top on either side is fine. These are your registration marks and you're going to need to cut them into every color of vinyl that you're using. These are what you are going to line up to get the final decal all put together. So essentially what you're going to be doing is taking the design apart by color uh, while keeping a copy of the registration marks with it. And like I said before, um, there are lots of different ways to make copies in Canvas Workspace, so whatever way works best for you is totally fine. Um, just select both registration marks and the first piece of the design, and um, you just hold Shift and then click on each of the pieces, then right-click over them and select Duplicate from the drop-down menu. Then it's just going to make an exact copy of those selected selected pieces and after the duplication uh, they are all still selected so just immediately right click over them and select group from the drop down menu um, and then you can move that whole group of pieces off to the side and then there's your first piece of the design and now we need to do the same thing for the rest of the pieces select the second part of the design and both the registration marks right click over it this time you could select copy and then in an empty space of the mat right click again and select paste so that's another way to make a copy um, just um, remember to group that um, those shapes together and drag that off to the side to the side and then you can kind of see what um, we're going to be doing with the registration marks is that when we cut them out of each color of vinyl, then you can line them back up on top of one another um, to put all those separate parts of the decal back together again. 
So you want to just keep going. Again, select the next part of the design, the registration marks. Um, here, I'm just going to hold Alt on my keyboard and then click and drag copy away. Um, and there's um, another way to group the designs. You can also go up to the layer menu in the top and then click group. And you're just going to keep going with each and every um, different color of the design. Group a copy of them together with the registration marks. And this last piece, I've got multiple pieces of the same color. So I'm going to select everything in the same color. Hold shift on the keyboard to click on all of them. And then copy and group them together. And then in the layers panel, you can see that I have a lot of different groups going on. And if it helps you to keep organized, then you can click on the group in the layers panel and rename it. So like blue one, blue two, um, and click on the arrow uh, next to the name to close the group so it doesn't show all the different parts of it. Um, but if you ever need to get those back, you can just click on the arrow again, um, and that will open up the group again in the layers panel and it would list every shape that's part of that group. And then I'm going to actually do this with the registration marks and the original design just to stay organized, but it's totally not necessary. Because now what you're going to do is you're going to start to transfer the different pieces to your scan and cut for cutting. So um, you aren't going to be cutting out the original design and registration marks. Um, so click the eye next to them in the layers panel and they will become hidden and you can always get them back by clicking that box again. Then go ahead and arrange the different parts of the decal with the registration marks just like you'd be arranging the pieces of vinyl on your actual cutting mat. So I'll put one in the top left, one in the bottom left, and then this piece I think I can squeeze it in the bottom right if I go to the edit panel and then just angle it 90 degrees. And then these other two pieces I'm going to cut out uh, separately so go into the layers panel again click the eye icon next to them to hide them for now. And then go up to file, then export to transfer this to your scanning cut. Of course, you'll get that warning message saying that hidden items aren't transferred, which is totally fine because that's exactly what we want. So then at your scan and cut machine, arrange your vinyl colors um, on your cutting mat in the same way you place the designs in Canvas Workspace. So what I've already done is taken each color of vinyl I wanted to use and cut it into a rectangle that's about one or two inches bigger than the design. That way I'm sure that there's enough vinyl to fit the design on it with a little wiggle room to spare. If you need washi tape to hold down the pieces um, of the vinyl, you can do that. Um, this trick only works so many times though before you either need to get a new mat or re-stick your mat. But then go ahead and load the machine and um, retrieve those designs you sent over. Don't forget to do your test cut. Weed that out. If it's a good test cut, then you know you have the right cut settings. Um, the machine that I'm using here is the Brother Scan and Cut SDX. 125E, I love the nice big screen that this one has on it, and the auto blade as well. I'm actually using the vinyl auto blade because I'm cutting vinyl. It's got a finer blade to it for cutting vinyl, um, but the regular blade um, actually works fine too. Just make sure that you have the half cut feature turned on so that the auto blade won't cut all the way through the vinyl. And there are links in the video description to the machine and that vinyl auto blade if you wanna check those out. But just go ahead and cut out those pieces and when it's done uh, you're going to go back to canvas workspace this time hide the pieces that you just cut then click on the last two pieces you have to cut out and just do like before you put them on the mat and transfer them over to your scanning cut and again just like before put the vinyl on your mat retrieve the new designs cut those out and then uh, depending how many colors of vinyl you have in your de decal you can you know repeat these steps as necessary until you have all the different pieces of the vinyl decal cut out in all the different colors of vinyl you want you know just make sure that you've added those registration marks in uh, canvas workspace to each of the different colors of vinyl and then you can go ahead and weed out all the excess vinyl from each of the pieces and you can see that each piece has those registration marks. It's just those squares cut um, in the vinyl at the top. So now what you're going to need is some transfer tape. So cut a piece that is just slightly bigger than uh, the finished size of the actual decal. 
You'll also need a burnishing tool. And then I also suggest working on a sticky mat because it's gonna help keep the vinyl pieces um, staying flat against your work surface while you're lining up the registration marks. Now, when it comes to vinyl layering, you always wanna start with a piece that is in front. So in this decal, that's the bear because it's standing in front of the mountain. And then you always work your way back to the um, vinyl layer um, that's the backmost layer. So go ahead and transfer that frontmost um, piece um, onto your transfer tape and then peel off the vinyl backing. And now you're ready to start your layering. So take that next layer, which um, for me is the mountain, and I'm gonna place that on the sticky mat and you're gonna align the registration marks at the top um, of both pieces. And you're gonna find your um, best way to do that for you. Um, what you just wanna keep in mind is that you don't want the transfer tape to stick to the vinyl um, until you've lined up the registration marks. So placing like a piece of parchment paper or even the vinyl backing from the previous layer um, over the vinyl will keep that part um, protected, so to speak, so that if the transfer tape were to fall over, it wouldn't stick to the vinyl underneath because you want that time to line up the registration marks right on top of one, one another. And then once they are, you can then remove the, the parchment and then lay the transfer tape um, down to pick up that next layer of vinyl. You'll then flip it over and remove the vinyl backing. And so now you have two layers of vinyl on your transfer tape. Place that um, parchment paper back onto it and line up the next layer of the vinyl decal. So put that on your mat and then you're just going to repeat that process, lining up those registration marks. And then once they're lined up, you know, we're moving that protective parchment and laying the transfer tape down. Um, but here's what you might run into. And this is important. You want to make sure that when you lay down the transfer tape, you will be laying it down either to vinyl backing or parchment. Because as you can see right now, if I were to um, lay the transfer tape down, it would be sticking onto my cutting mat and that would be no good. So put that parchment there and then just keep repeating what you've been doing. Flip it over, remove the vinyl backing, replace the parchment, lay the next vinyl piece onto your mat, align those registration marks so you, you can pick up the next layer of vinyl. And you would just keep doing that until um, all of the pieces um, of the decal are on your transfer tape. Just remembering to always work starting from the frontmost layer and working your way back down um, to the back layer. And for this vinyl decal, really only the bear and the mountain were layered because the rest of the pieces weren't connected so it didn't really matter in which order I did them. But for other types of layered vinyl decals, you will want to take note of which layers are laying on top of one another. And then you're going to have this colorful vinyl decal all applied onto one piece of transfer tape. And then the last thing you need to remember is to remove those registration marks. And you don't need them, so you can just throw them away. And then you are ready to apply it to your surface. So what I've got here is a plastic bucket from the hardware store to apply my decal to. And I like to do the hinge method kind of application. So I've got that blue painter's tape at the top of it, taping it down to the bucket. And then I can you know, lift up part of the transfer tape and remove some of the parchment, lay it back down, and then repeat that on the other side so that I can place that entire decal onto the bucket, burnish it down really, really well and remove the transfer tape to reveal a beautiful, colorful, layered vinyl decal um, on this camping bucket. And that is the final project, friends. So setting up the registration marks is super, super easy. Layering the vinyl, you know, ever, like with anything, it just takes a little bit of practice and you're, you're going to find, you know, what way works best for you. Um, but it's going to give you that really perfectly aligned um, decal using lots of different colors. So um, I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Um, you can find the supplies um, for like the vinyl and the scanning cut and the SVG design um, in the video description so you can check them out. So thanks so much you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time.
Bye.